Well, this should be the last one of the year. It's March 25th. I'm in the Northeast, and this is what we get. Okay, well, let me clean all this up. And today we're going to go in and talk about robots. Yep, robots. So give me a couple minutes and uh, we'll get started. Well, this little guy here is a new addition to the family. This is a robotic vacuum cleaner that I picked up at a uh, thrift store the other day. And it turned out to be a real winner. You can see here on the sticker, I paid $5.99 for that. And I knew it didn't have all the parts and I knew it was also not working when I purchased it. But I thought, what a great piece of technology. And it's very heavily constructed. And it's got a little Linux computer inside as its brain. So I went ahead and purchased it, intending fully to hack it. But ever since I seen how good it worked as a vacuum cleaner, I decided not to and just use it as a vacuum cleaner because I like it so much. It didn't come with a power uh, supply, but I was able to use this one. And this is just a compact laptop power supply with the uh, right end on there. Like I said, this has a Linux computer as its guidance system internal to the uh, vacuum cleaner. It has two metal nickel hydride batteries on either side. I'll put it on the bench here and show you some of the features. Okay, so let's get it on the table and take a look at how it works. Okay, so this is a, a close-up, intimate look at my Nito robotic vacuum cleaner. And it's really robust. This thing feels substantial when you touch it. The thing is very computerized as far as sense sensitivity. Watch. It's asking me to put it down, so um, it knows what it wants. You just have to follow along here on the screen, basically. The buttons are very intuitive. It, uh, it only has one, two, three, four, five buttons. And there is a laser guidance system here on the top that actually spins and gives the vacuum cleaner coordinates of a room as it's vacuuming. This is the dust catcher here and, and the, the bin. It has a filter on the front and this is where it captures the dust. Now you pull this off here and then empty it in the trash is how you work it. Now it is a little bit dusty because I just got through using it. I haven't cleaned it out yet. And It asks you to empty the bin if it detects that it's full. On the bottom side, there's two really robust wheels, very thick rubber, very heavy duty, that guide it along. This is the beater bar that's made up of a wiper system. There's probably five or six uh, general purpose blades on here that's good for carpet as well as hard floor. Inside these two panels are the battery packs that I took out and reconditioned. They're nickel metal hydride batteries and each side has about 1400 milliamps of battery on each side. There's probably uh, cells that are about that long, about as round as a double A. And there's probably five of those. Um, on the back here is the connection for the docking system that I did not get. I plan on making my own docking system. It's just uh, two leads that this backs into with the positive and negative. Here on the side you can also plug it in traditionally like you would expect to plug something in but you'll lose the automatic capability of finding its own charging base. 
if this is set out to do a job and its battery goes too low, it will shut its vacuum system off, return to the base, charge itself, and then as soon as the batteries are full, it will automatically go out and finish the vacuuming job that it started and it will repeat this process until it's completely finished cleaning the house. This is a micro USB port and this is the port that I used to upgrade the firmware when I had a problem with the the batteries. I think it was more of a problem with the batteries going too low than anything. As soon as I reconditioned the batteries and updated the firmware, it's been running fine ever since. So that's pretty much all there is to say about the vacuum. It, it has a movable bumper here, as you can see. Um, I don't know a lot about it because, you know, I'm just getting to know it. I've only had it for less than a week and I didn't get a manual or anything for it. I'm just learning as I go. So there it is now let me put this down on the floor and i'll just put it in spot clean mode and i'll show you how it moves about and what it sounds like okay let me do a quick demo of how this thing cleans we're out in the lobby here of my shop and this is just a large rug tapestry i'm just gonna have the Nito robot do a quick spot clean so you get an idea of the sound and how it moves see that it goes back and forth after it does a perimeter and that's one of the selling points of this Nito vacuum system is the back and forth motion that a, would simulate how a person would vacuum. First you normally do the perimeter of the room and then you do stripes or strips back and forth so you don't miss anything and this is how this vacuum acts as well now right now I'm just running it in spot mode not the entire place but just a small area from where I started and that's what it's running now and soon it will be over But it looks before it moves, it's very careful. It does tap things to feel its way around corners. But for the most part, after it taps it once, there the vacuum just went off and it's going to park itself. Once it taps itself, uh, taps walls or something once, it usually does not repeat that tap. It does remember what it's tapped. And like these little trophies over here, I can actually let it run around the trophies and it's just fine. It might scoot it a tiny bit, but um, it knows that it's pushing something so it leaves it alone. If it gets stuck on these tapestries on the end of these fringes, it can back itself off it and recover itself. I would feel comfortable leaving this vacuum to do my carpets and not worrying about it. So. There it is. There is my $6 vacuum cleaner. I know you're not going to find one like this for 6 bucks. I just got really super lucky and I'm fortunate to have it. 
but if you were to consider to buy one of these I would recommend it I think it's a good little system it's not something that's going to replace your full-time vacuum but it helps to keep things tidied up and nice so thanks for watching this episode I hope you learned something or at least got a little entertainment value out of it so thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time bye for now Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.